So we do get the fist, we get hidden motive, we get doubt. Wanted could be really good because then it gives us two extra resources to play the fist. Um, I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna keep that. Hmm, I'm not gonna keep doubt. I'm gonna keep the fist. I'm gonna keep wanted. Um, no good to be dead is amazing here. Okay, so this is a really really good hand uh, in order to get the fist on the table because we have two resources here two resources here um, so this could be this could get out of hand which is awesome if we can get the fist on the table I before he can get his entourage ramp going I think we're in really good shape I mean that's the idea that's the race right now is can I get fist down before he can get entourage And even then, this is only a one character damaging deck, so it kind of gives Vader a little bit of uh, breathing room, I think. Um, if it was a dual support, or if Watto had focus so he can burst Vader down quickly, then I would be in a little bit more problem, or little, it would be a little bit more problematic, but seeing as I really only have to worry about Kira, let's see, we got six, he got one, two, three, four, five, six, he tied. That four coming out from Vader. Oh, four, five, one, two, three, four. No. All right. So our damage is going to be a little bit curved, which is fine, right? Because we do have the fist. So fighting pit goes away. Uh, both shields go on Vader. So I'm dealing with 17 health Vader, which is really good, obviously. Um, so we'll see what we can do. What is this? Smuggle drone. Activate one of your yellow characters. We just rolled resource. Gain a resource. So his entourage. It did not. R.I.P. Thank you, Greedo. Or Watto. Watto Greedo. It's very confusing. Um, see, this is one of the reasons I, I know in my previous videos I always say this. I hate um, Watto. Like, he's just not my favorite. And I know his dice can't be touched. I know he's got really good... Um, I know he's got really good... Um, I know he's got really good ability. Like, I get it. But I like Watt Timbor so much better just because he's more consistent. Like, he's rolling the Cantina, so he's re-rolling both of these, which is fine. Gets blank. See, when Watto doesn't cooperate, your whole deck is just done. Like, two disrupt is pretty hot. That could actually mess me up a little bit. So I don't want to telegraph my plan right now. Um, so we're going to roll in... Burrito. Throw one gun. Oh boy. Like that two disrupt side actually just kind of screwed me up. Oh, Kara coming through. I don't want him to have resources, so that's like a problem. Um, resource. I can't have that ramp going on that fast. I mean, I'd rather just take damage. Hopefully he rerolls both Watto dice. I mean, worst case scenario is I get fist down the first action turn two. At least we roll everything. Okay, so he doesn't see it coming. Resource, resource, discard. Okay, so I, I'm going to outpace him because he's going to take his resources here. So I can play No Good to Be Dead. And I'm going to take two resources. So he can take his three. That's fine. So fist coming down, I roll it out. For the three indirect, damage is damage is damage. I don't care how it looks, I'm taking it all. He's trying to go for double entourage. So I still have by any means, so that's really good um, in case entourage was discarding. It's fine, with me. I don't care. So we'll do three. We 
Those are just two. Oh, there's two. Take my shields off. So power action the fist, we'll roll it in. Uh we'll flip it to the three for no pay side. Three. Four. Oh, I that. Yep. It's fine. Fist or one entourage doesn't scare me at all. Even if he gets two, the hope is that Greedo's dead, so that it curves the, uh, or Watto's dead, I'm sorry, so that it curves the, uh, the special. Two disrupt, don't care. Three range. So that's a dead Watto. Plus, I'm going to play this. Uh, I'm going to play this wanted, um, and get two resources. So he can disrupt me. It's fine. He's not knowing what to do here. Yep, Vader's fist is uh, still a good card. Crazily enough, one for hired muscle. Okay, pretty good. If I can get him to use that disrupt, I'm like okay with it. I think. What does he got? Ooh, three mana. That's pretty good. Boom. So it's a dead Watto. I get two resources. If he disrupts me, that's fine. Because um, then he's not resolving for special or for resources. That's what the ramp is all about right now. One of the last card is Entourage. So he does not want to get rid of that Entourage. For sure. So he's doing a three mana. I have. Is that not working? Flag, I guess. Oh, there we go. All good. A little bit of a lag. Um, I can't even. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna claim. I have nothing else to do. He is pitching the entourage. That's interesting. He's going for max damage. He wants the special or something. What was it? That was a blind. All right. Uh, so, again, another round one kill. I get two more resources here. Hoping for, like, a dark saber. That would be crazy. And I get it. So, this is... Jen is going to get slammed down right now, right? Smugglers run again, so he rolls resources and resource. Rolls guns. That's pretty good. Um, so Vader's threatening, or he's threatening Vader, but I'm not gonna actually. I guess we can save Vader a little bit, right? <laughs> My dog. Crawl in the background there. Maybe not the guy. One, two. All right, let's roll Invader. So four damage. You can easy pick those, and then three resources. If I want it, no, I don't want resources. <clears throat> Four price is pretty good here because now I can it guarantees me the guarantees me the four, but I just need these. Well, I guess I can take them. Like. Ooh, improvised defense, really smart. So now I can't turn dice. Um, spot Vader to turn this to any side, so I have to do that. That's oh, and I for a price too. It's pretty good. It's pretty pretty good. The die is turned. I can discard that to remove. Huh. Interesting. Um. Do I bait it out of him? I think I do. 
No, actually, let's just roll in the fist first. Three indirect, or three range, I'm saying. Well, they just got nine health left. Is that a discard? Okay. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Discard the other dark saber. Thank you for that. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and take the three into her. I'm gonna get rid of this. Two indirect. Do I pitch? I don't even know. I think I just take the damage here. Like, it feels bad to just resolve both of those twos, but I'm okay with that. He can't represent nine. Like, he's not going to kill Vader this turn, and then I can just get three next turn with the fist. Three disrupts. Fine. So we're just gonna power action this, and he's gonna he's gonna be able to get rid of it, which is fine. Yeah. So I'm not even gonna roll it out because I have to turn. You can't fail the spot Vader. So three melee for one. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, throw it. There you go. I'm probably gonna pitch a reroll because if I get that melee on the dark saber, it's game. Greedo coming through again. Greedo's dice are like sneakily good, which is what I love about him. One, two, two. I mean, he's 50% damage. No doubt, Greedo. Come on, Greedo. Oh, Greedo, let me down. Damn. All right, I'm going to pitch one reroll with the Dark Saber because I can show lethal here. So, one discard. I'm definitely doing this again. Going for the game. There's a lot of rerolls, man. I can't kill him. Three. Uh, three direct. It's fine. So if I hit melee, 33% chance of winning. And we get... Oh, we don't get there. Classic. So that takes Vader to nine. Um, I just claim. For three. And now I just threaten it with a fist power action. I don't even want to do that. Just roll Vader. What do we get? Doubt, hasties. Okay. So we're just going to see if we can threaten a bazillion damage here. So two, four, and then three shields. So he could have pickings. Yeah, I haven't seen that yet. Game. GG. Yeah, so that was two pretty quick games. Um, but when this thing comes down first, it's, I mean, it just swings. Like I said, if he had two different aggro characters or he had the second one of these down, it's probably a different game, but still. He's a meat shield, so 15 is super tanky. So, like, you don't need to run as many mitigation options because he can take a hit. And the whole thought behind running him is... Um, the whole thought behind running Vader is you're going to kill people um, before they kill you. So you don't have to worry about, like, as much... Um, and then Greedo's just there for the ride. There are definitely a bunch of things in here that I would probably change or mess around with, but overall, you see, getting turn one fist isn't that hard. We got some solid ramp options. Um, Dark Saber going down turn two never did damage, but it's just a huge die. But thanks for watching those. Those were fun with Chris. Um, 
hopefully you guys enjoy those. I'll probably be posting a little bit more Vader videos. I was never a Vader player um, last meta, so I'm kind of just now jumping into it. It's definitely not my type of deck at all. Um, I like the support of the mill decks, but um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. As always, this is Ryan, a.k.a. Wags uh, with the Boge Dim. Have a good one.